funny also because uh, everybody in the industry knows that we are a bit of pranksters. So uh, and that's also our, uh, our stress buster. So we constantly, at any given point in time, we're playing some prank or the other, you know. There was this girl who was on the verge of doing a couple of uh, films as a star and since then she has. She noticed that my driver um, is, uh, is very sharp, you know, he's, he's, like a, he's like a butler, you know. So he knew precisely, you know, when I'm sitting and I'm, you know, looking at the monitor, and, uh, you know, if I am looking here or somewhere, then he knows he's actually looking for his uh, pan masala, okay? So he immediately come, and if I'm looking here and there, then he knows he's looking for his cigarette pack, okay? So she thought, oh, that's a great uh, driver to have, yeah, you know, on the set. So she asked me, she said, can I talk to your driver? I said, yeah, sure. And then, you know, about a month later, I suddenly remembered conversation and I'm in my car with Cyrus and I heard Dure you know that girl wanted to talk to you okay so what was it about so he said you know she wants a driver like me so I said okay and did you find one so he said no not as yet and so I said so when I when you're gonna find her uh, I'm find the driver how are you gonna tell uh, inform her so he said I got her number I said very good give me your phone so now we are in the car and in that I haven't worked it out, you know, as to what I'm going to tell her. In that moment, I called her up and I'm calling from Durai's uh, number. I thought the best thing would be if I give the driver a really uh, repulsive voice. Okay. <laughs> How would that work? You know, would, would somebody want to have a driver who's got, who first lisps, okay, and has a terrible, terrible voice, okay. Oh, so, so then I, you know, uh, you know, called her up and she picked up the phone and and I said, uh, you know, that uh, my name is whatever. And Durai asked me to call you up in terrible, terrible voice, which I don't want to do right now. <laughs> okay. And so I could, I could, you know, so there was a silence. Okay. Uh, and then she is continuing the talk only because, you know, you can't say, no, no hang on, you, you, you got a really uh, dumb voice and I'm not going to talk to she, she is just prolonging the thing only, you know, so that she can shut it down. And since I hadn't worked out what I'm going to tell her, I was worried that she would ask me a question to which I haven't worked out answers, you know. So I'm, I, I have to be impromptu doing everything. So she said, so tell me, how long have you... And I knew she's going to ask me how long have I been driving and all that. So I thought, let me stump her. So I said, so what car do you have? Because I was driving Abhishek Baba's X5 before, uh, you know, he got married. And so now, so now she's under pressure. This driver was driving for Abhishek Bachchan, his X5. So now there is silence from that side. And it's so sweet because you know the pressure that a young budding actor is under that you have to look decent enough <laughs> you know so so now she's come against under this pressure against a driver okay so there was a long silence then she said um, you see i've got a centro right now but i'm about to change it <laughs> <laughs> which is which is when which is when i owned up she laughed it off and then yeah we did, we worked together